don't waste your money make sure you order the right instant hot water tap otherwise this can happen to you so it's just after christmas belly's still full and i'm as lazy as anything but who can blame me it's that time of the year the bubbly comes out the food comes out and you just get lazy you just sit back and relax but i've got to get back at some point and today of all days i'm installing this hot water tap from cooker and i'm plumbing the sink in as well so that tomorrow we can start dressing this whole kitchen up but that's for another video now before i start plumbing the sink up and putting any silicone i'm gonna give it a right clean because it's quite dirty i mean just look at this you can tell that the granite people has come they've done all the worktops but obviously with all the cutting and everything you're gonna get mock like this and we want to clean it up so that any silicone adheres properly so firstly hit it with the ultra grime wipes and then i'm drying it with a paper towel just to get everything dry hey i actually like this overflow cover it's actually quite cool but as nice as it is the back bracket and the pipe that leads down to the sink waste nah i wasn't impressed to be quite honest with you but this front plate is definitely nifty i like it it's classy now back to that bracket i don't normally silicone these rubbers because basically they just go in and they fine but this one was sort of a bit concave and the sink it's flat so it's not going to fit properly so i loaded it with a bit of silicone just to make sure it's going to have a good seal on it and as far as these rigid overflow pipes with this like ball twisty thing i can't stand them they never fit properly they're always so tight i'd like to meet that bloke behind the desk sat on a computer designing this stuff that just does not work out who designed something that comes in three parts and you gotta insert one part onto the other part and there's an o-ring that creates a seal but then there's a mark that says don't go over this mark but if you don't go over the mark it's just not gonna fit it's not gonna be right and you got to go over that mark now if you're watching this video and knew that guy take my advice get out on the field go meet some plumbers go meet some kitchen fitters and ask them for some advice ask them on the technical stuff so that you can design stuff that actually works however i'm going to give you some credit for this cover because it was really satisfying putting it on satisfactions out of the way let's get this hot water cooker tap installed if you actually looking for hot water tap this one is brilliant but don't make the mistake that this kitchen company made choose the right model that you need now if you're in the trade i've got to ask this what do you use i use coins you know what i'm talking about they just work they don't cost me any money because they're in my pocket already and they work brilliantly so i use coins come on think about it these days they don't have much value in any case so you might as well put them to use at this point you might be thinking that i've got some cleaning disorder that i'm always cleaning but there's nothing worse than leaving residue of silicone on a beautiful sink like this but hey you're not wasting your time watching me clean because i'm just going to talk to you about this hot water cooker tap and i'm going to explain what you should look out for now there are quite a few models but i'm just going to concentrate on these three for now the pro 3 pro 7 and the combi now the one the kitchen company sent was the pro 3 and that's wrong i needed the combi you see as we don't have a hot water supply to this kitchen the pro 3 will not work the pro 3 model will give you instant boiling water but it relies on a supply for hot water the combi model allows you to have instant hot water and boiling water i guess that's why it's called a combi and it doesn't rely on you having a separate hot water supply to the kitchen so before you fork out a lot of money for one of these just go on cooker's website and they got a guide that actually tells you which one you should use now let me be clear this is not a cheap system this is expensive but you're paying for quality but just make sure whoever's supplying your kitchen knows exactly what you need and knows what you got in your house if you don't have a hot water supply to the kitchen or to the area that you can install one of these make sure they get and choose the right model for you and if you only got a 500 or 600 base unit don't expect much space inside it because once you install this system it's quite tight i mean this is a big tank that goes underneath and there's a lot of pipe work to go in as well so that expectation of having a shelf underneath and loads of storage space it's not going to happen that's out the window might actually be a good thing because you don't get to put all that cleaning material underneath there it took quite a bit of arguing to convince the kitchen supplier that they actually chose the wrong one and i wasn't prepared to blank this hot water pipe off and rely just on boiling scalding water to come out of this tub so we're waiting for the new year for it to be resolved 